Welcome to this yin yoga class to calm our minds. This class is welcome for all levels. And if you do have a bolster at home, go and grab one. If not, a simple pillow would do. So let's begin by lying down. Bring the soles of your feet together. And then we'll gently bring the bolster or pillow underneath our back. Now you can also do reclining butterfly without a bolster and your spine will be flat on the floor. Release your hands out, palms facing the sky, looking up. And let's tune to our breath. Observing the inhale. And long exhale. This posture stimulates the inner thighs. In yin yoga, there are two reasons to move. The first one, after holding the posture for some time, the body will slowly open up. You can use it as an invitation to deepen into the pose. The second reason to move is if you feel like you might injure yourself or there's some deep uncomfortable sensations, then you can lean away from the pose or simply come out. feeling distracted, joyfully bring your intention and attention back between the eyebrows to the third eye. Notice the rising in the belly. The body invites you to deepen, use exhalation to soften a little more. And let's slowly move in the body, slowly using your hands to assist bringing your legs back together. And push into your feet to bring the bolster away. Let's draw the knees to your chest and give yourself a nice small hug. And then gradually releasing into your resting posture. I'm going to rest on my back, but you can also rest in child's pose or in fetal position. Now softly roll to either side of the body. We're going to find a way onto our belly. Preparing for broken wing. Broken wing, we're going to be lying flat on the belly. And then 
Extend your right arm out directly from the shoulders. I like to put my head on a bolster or a block or a pillow that helps support my neck, but it's optional. And you can place your hand either in front of you or even place it behind you. If you're able to reach for the fingers, that's one option, but it's not the main goal. So in Broken Wing, it helps to open our chest and also stimulating the pericardium meridian that runs along the inside of our arms. In Chinese meridians, our spirit settles in the pericardium channel. And when our mind wanders away, we do this posture to help bring the spirit back into our heart space. Nin yoga is like watering a plant, nurturing a plant. If you water too much, you're going to drown it, injure it. Likewise, in yin, if you dive too deeply into the posture, you might hurt yourself. On the other hand, if you underwater the plant, it will never blossom to its potential. In yin, if you stay too far away from the edge and not feel any sensations, you're not going to benefit from your practice. So yin yoga is like nurturing your plant. You want to water a little, let it sink in, let it nurture the plant. And eventually, bit by bit, you will reach your full potential in the posture. As gently coming back onto your belly we're gonna rest for a moment on the belly but if that's uncomfortable for you you can stay in fetal position you can turn your head bend your knees and just sway your legs and then just come on lying flat bringing movement back to stillness And then let's reach your left arm out and then come on to the left side of your broken wing. And then settling into the second side, reaching your left arm out under from the shoulder. You can bring the right hand behind your back or simply put it in front. Drink your tea slowly and reverently, as if it is the axis on which the world earth revolves. Slowly, evenly, without rushing towards the future. A poem by Thich Nhat Hanh. If you find yourself rushing to go from one place to another, Simply slow down. And then graciously let's release and we're gonna rest in child's pose let's push on to all fours and i personally prefer having a wide leg child's pose 
with a supported pillow and bolster. You can wrap your arms around the bolster or simply bring it to the side. Visualize your pelvis and lower back sinking into the ground like butter melting under the sun. And then that's rolling all the way up. Now you can sit between the bolster or just come find a comfortable seated position and we're going to move into Nadi Shodana, the alternate nostrils breathing. So you can simply just place your left hand onto the thigh and then the right hand, the right thumb is to the right nostril and then the right ring finger is to the left nostril. We're going to inhale through the left nostril, close the left nostril, exhale to the right nostril. And then inhale, right nostril. Exhale, left nostril. Let's do this several rounds. You can close your eyes. Inhale, left. Close the left. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close the right. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Close the left. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close the right. Exhale, left. You now simply keep your eyes closed, releasing your hands. Breathing in through the nose. Breathing out through the nose. On each inhale, visualize a white light coming in towards you. On the exhale, releasing all the thoughts. And that's slowly opening our eyes. We're gonna transition into half butterfly. I really like half butterfly. We're gonna bring the left foot to the inside of your right thigh. And then your bolster can either be long, yeah, if you wish to use a bolster. You can even stack it tall and then put your head on top, yeah, depending on how far you can fold forward. I'm gonna offer this variation where you rest your elbows on the pillow or bolster and then put your chin on top and then you can also bring the thumbs pressing the beginning of the eyebrows to stimulate the acupressure point urinary bladder too these points really help with clearing mental stress calming our mind And half butterfly helps to release tension along the hamstrings and lower back. And often we hold a lot of stress in these areas from sitting or simply contracting in the body.
and now releasing the acupressure point you can simply relax your head on the bolster or simply relax Feel your belly breathing a little deeper. Letting go of any thoughts that no longer serves you. Now simply Rolling up one vertebra at a time. Before we take a rest, let's just sit up for a moment, feeling all the mental energy, all that stress draining down the neck and shoulders, out through the fingertips. And let's gently lying down on your back. You can also bring a bolster under the knees to support your lower back. Gently, let's roll to either side of the body to set up for the second side. And this time, let's bring the left leg long, the right foot in, keeping your extended leg relaxed. And then set up for your half butterfly. And I'm going to invite you once more to do the acupressure stimulation, bringing your thumbs to the beginning of your eyebrows and you can also do small gentle circular movement to massage this point and letting go anything that you're holding on to behind the forehead and from Eckhart Tolle it's a liberation to know that we're not the voice inside our head who are we? We are the consciousness that notice it. Whenever you feel overwhelmed, feel like your mind is in a million directions, simply notice that you are observing it. And then slowly let these thoughts drain away. Releasing your hands and deepen into your half butterfly.
and then gently coming up let's sit up for a moment I'm finding a way into final Shavasana and in final Shavasana I'm gonna invite you to bring the bolster and rest it right on top of the midline of the body and the midline is the conception vessel, the sea of all yin organs. And this helps us to connect with our gentle heart space, relaxing the mind. Palms facing up. Slowly relaxing your toes and ankles. Your lower legs and knees are dropping heavier to the ground. Your thighs are getting heavier and heavier. Hips melting. Your belly and chest are sinking. But your heart remains light. Relaxing your shoulders, elbows, wrists, and soften into your fingers. Let go of any tension in the lower back, mid back, and the upper back. Relax your neck, back of your head, crown, soften the forehead, relax your face and your mouth. Now bring your mind to the temple of your soul, the right side of your heart, size of a thumb. You're exactly where you need to be. You are safe. Let's begin to move your fingers and toes. Reach your arms up and stretch. And just mindfully, without disturbing your mind, roll to the side. And then gently come all the way up. And let's bring the center of our palms over our knees. And whenever you feel overwhelmed, just connect back to the center of your palms, your pericardium channels protecting your heart. Bring the palms together. Honor yourself for showing up to your mat for yourself. And namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. And as well, I want to invite you to join my private Facebook group where I share with you daily tips on emotional healing and self-love through yin yoga, as well as daily affirmations that will support your yin practice. And inside the group, you can always comment on what kind of classes you want to see on YouTube. And the link is in the description. And as well, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so that I can continue to support you in your yin yoga journey. Thank you so much and I hope to see you again.